Crisis Group was the only international conflict resolution organization based in Sri Lanka during the final years of the, of the war in Sri Lanka, 2006 to the end of the war, 2009. During that period, we did our classic field-based research, produced a, a, a number of reports on a whole range of different issues. As the war escalated in its intensity and as the impact on civilians grew much worse, a, our focus increased, increasingly became on containing the, the humanitarian costs and on bringing a, a, a less bloody end to the war. Unfortunately, um, despite our, our high-level advocacy, uh, the war came to a catastrophic conclusion. After the end of the war, our focus turned to investigating what exactly happened and with a focus on the need for accountability for what we believe were serious war crimes committed by both sides. We wrote a, a very detailed report based on eyewitness testimony um, f gathered from within Sri Lanka and from many people who had left Sri Lanka. Uh, the report had significant um, impact, we believe. It was picked up very widely in the international media and it, we believe, directly contributed to the decision of the UN Secretary General to launch his own panel of experts to advise him on what happened in the end of the war and the need for accountability. The report, together with our high-level advocacy, was, we believe, quite important in the decision of the Human Rights Council to uh, take up the issue of Sri Lanka and pass a very strong resolution, critical of the Sri Lankan government and calling for accountability. It's not yet the independent international investigation which we believe is ultimately needed, but it is a, a significant step towards that. The actions of the Secretary General and the Human Rights Council, which we believe our reporting and our advocacy directly contributed to, has increased the profile of Sri Lanka at the international level and increased the pressure on the Sri Lankan government. The reason this work matters is twofold. First, for the people of Sri Lanka, we believe that accountability and working through what happened at the end of the war is absolutely essential to lasting peace. But the issue goes beyond Sri Lanka. The kind of flagrant violation of international humanitarian law that we saw at the end of the war sets a dangerous precedent if left unchecked. We know that other governments with insurgencies have been tempted by what's called the Sri Lanka model. This cannot be allowed to stand. This is why we are continuing to focus on Sri Lanka, and this is why our work in Sri Lanka matters so much.